Today I'm going to show you how to crochet this very cute and easy sea star whale. I also have a crochet video tutorial on this small whale that I have on my channel and here is the bigger version. I, you can also make it a little smaller if you use uh, other yarn. But here you can uh, look at my whale. I made this cute sea star and uh, sewed it on the top of the head. And I think they turned out quite cute and I would like to share the free pattern with you today. Also you can visit my blog www.yarnil.com for the, also the free version on uh, my blog. But you can also go to my Etsy shop and if you want to support me further you can purchase the pattern there as well. In the honey bunny shine yarn you can also use other kinds of yarn so you're gonna need a pair of scissors a crochet hook I'm using a five millimeter and a pair of safety eyes these are these are 20 millimeters normally I would do the base with white but for the sake of this tutorial I'm gonna show it with blue because it's a little hard to see the stitches with uh, the white one so first I like to start off my work with a magic ring. I'm going to show you how to make a magic ring. If you don't know how to make a magic ring, you can also chain four and do a slip stitch in the first chain. So here is how to make a magic ring. I just twist the yarn around the index finger and then around the thumb like so. I'm going to show you again like so and then here and I like to grab the tail here and then I go there and then I just grab the yarn and pull through while you're holding it like this grab the yarn and pull through once just to make a chain to secure that ring so here we have your ring and then you're gonna do six single crochets in that ring I like to hold my yarn like this just to keep the tension and then you just go there and grab the yarn and pull up a loop you have two loops on the hook you yarn over and pull through all two loops so that's your first single crochet that's the second one three four five and six and now when you're done just gonna pull here to close the ring like so then I'm just gonna grab myself a stitch marker I like to use yarn and then I just have my working yarn here and I'm gonna twist around my finger once again and now you want to go into that first stitch so count backwards one two three four five and six here you can see the first single crochet go in there and now we're gonna increase in that stitch that means we're gonna do two single crochets in that stitch so one and two and then in the next one in all the stitches two single crochets one and two and also in the next one one and two two three let's go and there is the next one and now we have two stitches left You can also adjust the settings, the speed in the settings in the right corner, I think it is, on those three little dots, and you can make it faster or slower. Now when you're done, pull up your stitch markers. We're gonna count the stitches here. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, and 12. So we have 12 stitches here. Put the stitch marker here. We're gonna start with round three. You're gonna do one single crochet in the next stitch. And you're gonna do an increase in the next. So here I'm gonna put two single crochets. One 
and two. We're going to repeat this all the way around. So I have done this one time. I'm going to do this five more times. One, and then increase in the next. One stitch, and increase in the next. One stitch, increase in the next. You should have 24, no, sorry, 18 single crochets. Oops. So, one, two, So I have 18 single crochets now. So basically this one, this one with this way I have increased, I have increased until I have 42 single crochets. So you can make it as big or as small as you want to. You can also stop here and make a mini way. I'm going to show you and explain you how to make it as big as you want. So the next round would be one single crochet in the next two, two stitches. One and two. And then increase in the next. And repeat this in total of six times. One and two and increase in the next. So in the multiplication you have 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, 42, 48 and so on. So this is how to do your increases. So it's pretty logical in the next round you can do three single crochets and increase in the next. And in the next round you would do four single crochets and increase in the next. And then in the next round you would do five single crochets and increase in the next. And when you are doing the decreases you are just doing it in the same pattern. Like five single crochets, decrease in the next, four single crochets, decrease in the next and so on. I'm going to show you all the way until we have 42 single crochets. So now we have 24. We're going to go to 30 and we're going to do three single crochets and increase in the next. Also in doing the increases like this you can see we have little peaks here. So usually in those peaks, one, two, three or after those peaks here you will add your increase. And also we are increasing if we start with one single crochet in the next three stitches and increase in the next, you're going to end the round, always end the round with this method with one increase, except if you put the increases on the first stitch, then you would not end with the increases. So one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, no, one, two, three, let's go one, two, three, and in the next, increase. So I'm going to repeat this all the way around. One, two, three, increase. And here is my last increase. Remember I said you're always going to end when I'm increasing in here uh, and I'm not increasing in the first stitch, we're always going to end up with an increase. So that is how I know without counting 
that I have the right amount of stitches, but always or if you're a beginner and also if you're more advanced, it's a good idea to count the stitches. So now we have four single crochets, you guessed right, and then an increase in the next. So one, two, three, and four, and increase here. One and two. Here, one, Here is my last stitch, so here one increase and now I want it to weave in the end here. So I just go here through the surface part of the st stitches, not, do not go through the whole base kind of, just go here through the surface and go up and down. Now we have 36 single crochets and we're gonna do increase up to 30, 42. So we have to do five single crochets. One, two, three, four, and five, and increase in the next. And seven, and then one more time. Two, three, four, five, increase in the next. So repeat this all the way around until you have 42 single crochets. Now I want to, I come to this, the point where I want to change colors. So I'm not going to finish the last stitch completely, just pull up like this one time and then you're going to grab the new color. So we can you're not going to finish, normally you would finish, you just go here and grab the loop and pull through with the same color to finish the single crochet. But now we're just going to grab the new color and finish off with the new color to get a nice color, color transition. So like this and then if it's, if it's not so tight you can just pull here carefully. And now you can start with your rounds here. So here is the first stitch here, go in there and you can put the tails here over it and crochet over it. So here you have one, and the next, two, and three, Four, and then you just go around, go ahead and just do one single crochet in each stitch. You should have 42 single crochets. Like so. And now you're just going to repeat. You're just going to repeat this all the way around. One single crochet in each stitch. And then when you get to the end of the round, you're just going to place uh, you're just going to place a st stitch marker here and you're just going to go com into the next stitch and crochet one single crochet in each stitch and I think I made eight rounds with this one before I start to do started to do the decreases so I will do eight rounds and I will meet you back afterwards. When you have finished your eight rounds you're gonna start with the decreases 
So since I ended with 42 single crochets, I'm going to do five single crochets and one decrease. So here I'm just putting my stitch marker where it belongs. And then one, two, three, four, and five. And here in the next two stitches, we're going to do a decrease. So normally you can just go here and grab the yarn and pull up a loop and go here and grab the yarn and pull up a loop. Grab the yarn and pull through all three loops, but you can see a little bump there. So this is why we're going to do an invisible decrease. That means you're just going to go through the front loop only. So here is the stitch. And you go through the front loop of that stitch and also at the next on the next stitch here. So and then you grab the yarn and pull up a loop and pull through those two loops. You have two loops on the hook, yarn over and pull through two loops. I'm going to show you one more time. So here, you just go through the front loop only and the next two stitches. Normally you would go through both like so. There and there and then do your decrease. And now five single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, and then one decrease here. And repeat all the way around. So we did it two times, you're going to do four more times. I'm at the end of the round and like in the big be beginning I want to do my decrease here and I should have one or two stitches left so I can put a decrease in that one so if you have three stitches left you, your counting is off so you have to go back and check now pull up your stitch marker next round we're gonna do four single crochets one two three and four and we're gonna do one decrease in the next and you're gonna, re gonna repeat this all the way around until you have 30 single crochets and when I'm done with this round I'm gonna add the safety eyes so here is the end and the beginning of the rounds and I want to go to this side and then I have my safety eyes so here is the middle somewhere and I want to go there, just put it there right on the edge between the green yarn and the white yarn and I'm going to add like seven stitches apart maybe, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I go there, you can also add them further apart, maybe one stitch like so, or one more. Just see what you like the best. Mm -hmm. And then I have the back end. So what I like to do is, yeah, I, have a, I have a cat that likes to go in here and he is black. So this is why you sometimes see those black hairs. Okay, so I just put the stitch marker here. Like so, you can put it like this or like this. So just pull it like two times, like so. And here as well, one and two. The new safety eyes are uh, are on place. And now I can continue with my decreases. So now we did four, we did four stitches the last round. So now we're gonna do three. And here is my here is my first stitch as you can see here this is where I am sometimes it can be a little hard to see but you can also use your fingers and feel where the stitches are maybe it's easier if you use just cotton yarn if you're a beginner one two and three 
and one decrease in the next. And repeat all the way around. So here is the next stitch. One, two, and three. And one decrease in the next. And now you can add some filling materials here. Next round we are going to do two single crochets. One and two and one decrease in the next. Repeat this all the way around. One. And now I have 18, st 18 stitches. Next round it's one single crochet and one decrease in the next. Repeat this all the way around until you have 12 single crochets. the last round last round we are just going to do one decrease in each stitch so here let's do your invisible decreases Just cut the yarn like this, leave a longer tail, like so, and then just pull it up. And now I have some room here for stuffing. So I'm going to try and put a little bit here. I'm going to show you a trick on how to get a nice finish. Grab your tapestry needle. And then we are going to go through each, each stitch here to the front loop only. So do not go through all loops, but just the front loop. Show one 
here is one stitch and here I think it's the last And now we're gonna make the fins. Sorry. So I have made it really easy for the side fin and the tail fins. We're just gonna make four of this of the same pattern. First you're gonna do magic ring. Now chain one here to secure. And now we're gonna do one triple double crochet. Or the one triple so you just that just means you're gonna yarn over twice like so one time two time and go here grab the yarn and pull up a loop so you have four loops on the hook yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops yarn over and pull through two loops we're gonna do this one more time so yarn over twice go here and grab the yarn and pull up a loop and you know, yarn over and pull through two, pull through two, and yarn over pull through two, like so. And then you're gonna add two double crochets. That's yarn over once. And go here and grab the yarn and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through two. Yarn over and pull through two. Do this one more time. Yarn over and pull. Grab the yarn and pull through two times and two times and now you're gonna do two half double crochets that's yarn over go ahead and grab the yarn and pull up a loop now you have three loops on the hook yarn over and pull through all three loops yarn over and pull and then you're gonna do one more half double crochets here half double double crochet you're gonna yarn over and pull through three loops like so now we can pull here and this is your side, it can be your tail fin and your side fin. So we're gonna make four out, out of these. Let's grab a longer tail. So you can see, I just, I just yarned over and pulled through here. So for the back fin, I just made two and then I'm gonna sew them on like this, like so. So go here in the middle and then you can find, so I'm going to put it right there. The only thing we have left now is the mouth. So I uh, have some pink yarn and I'm gonna go here. So one, two, might be there, one, two, and I have one, two, three, four. So I'm just gonna go down a little bit and go up again. They are friendly nurse.
so that's the mouth so here you can also go back and there, back there and then we can make a little knot I'm gonna show you how to do the starfish using a different yarn because it's easier to see and uh, I'm using a cotton yarn now so first you're gonna make a magic ring now in the ring you're gonna do 10 single crochets When you're done, just, just pull the ring closed. And then we're gonna do a slip stitch in the first single crochet. Now you're gonna chain up six. And now you're gonna do a half double crochet in the next two stitches so here yarn over insert work in the next stitch and do a half double crochet there and also in the next stitch do the next half double crochet now you're gonna do two double crochets so one in the first stitch yarn over insert hook in the next stitch now yarn over and pull, pull through two loops and yarn over pull through two loops also one half double crochet in the last stitch here so it should look something like this now you're gonna skip this because we have uh, you're gonna here is the stitch where you are you're gonna skip this one and go into that one so skip this one go into that one and do a slip stitch so and now chain up six again and repeat what you did on the first one two three four five and six slip stitch Two half double crochets. Sorry, I did one, two little. So chain up six again, repeat the process. Five and six. One slip stitch in the second chain from the hook. One half double crochet in the next two stitches one and two and one double crochet in the last two stitches one and two and then we're going to skip this one and go into that one like so and now we have two three four and five legs so you here i'm at the last leg kind of and then I go into that one and I'm gonna do a slip stitch like so and then cut the yarn leave a longer tail I've already done that maybe loop and just go through like so and now you're gonna add some safety eyes here whatever you like and we can uh, sew on the sea star on the whale And now you can just sew it here on the whale.
click here up and down like so you don't have to go through all the stitches you can skip a few but you get the idea and now you just want to follow the star completely around all five arms until you have like something like this so it's I know the star is lying on the fish or the whale hmm? so if you want to you can add more details around the eyes to make them pop a little bit so grab some white yarn and then go there and up here close to the eyes and then back down and out same place where you came in or started like so and then decided to add a green mouth as well instead of the pink one Now he has many details. So you can do this with this one. Anyways, I hope that you like this pattern. I had a, a, a fun time making it as well. I thought it was a fun twist. And I hope that you share the finished uh, whale with me. If you make one, just tag me on my social media. And don't forget to subscribe and share this video with your friends. I wish you a nice day. Goodbye.